everybody! So, I have another Universal Yums Super Yums box unboxing for you guys today. And this month, we have been treated to the home of the Cotton Top Tamarin. I believe this is Columbia. And I'm super stoked because I don't really know much about Colombian culture. And I'm going to put this this way. Because yeah, don't so you don't us. see my address. Uh, but I'm super stoked. This one should be good. It should be fun. Uh, I have so much fun with these Universal Yums boxes. And it's, it's actually really funny because I started bringing them with me to work. And my co-workers love it. We have such a good time just, like, messing with the Universal Yums box. They even like to see the pamphlet. They love reading the pamphlet. We're great. It's great. Are we Columbia? We are Columbia. Oh, tamarind is a is a, an a animal. Tam no, no. A tamarind is an animal. A tamarind is a fruit. I was confused, yeah. obviously. So, we have John over here. Buddy, what's up? Um, I've got Envy. Dot over there. You got Dot in the corner over here. She's kind of guarding things. And I'm just going to dive right in and I'm going to try to go item by item. Not necessarily what I pull out first because I want to see what we can get. And the first thing are Torbana plantain chips. Oh! Do they have a garlic the Garlic flavor. plantain flavor. Oh, no, they're not plantain flavor. They are plantain. So that's very exciting. Um, oh, looks like we got some chocolate in here still. Uh, the next thing up are these Bianchi bars, which are uh, chocolate coated caramel and peanut bar wafer. Ooh. Bye. Next up we have, oh dear, okay. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. I these, thought those might be ruffles. That no, was... these are uh, risottos mayonesas. These are mayo flavored potato chips. Oh, they're probably good. They're probably fine. Next. They are we have ricky, though. An so. open package of Oh, that's never happened before. I'm going to probably end up having to write to the company because No, what was that going to be? Uh, we think we do have two packages. Uh, these are True Lulu chocolates. These are white chocolate coated gummies. I am putting these in the trial right now. Well, we well we definitely got a right to them and say Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna shoot him a message and be like, hey, um, it was opened in the box. Uh but that's okay. Universal Young's customer support has been fantastic for me. So next up we have the Max Cocoa Bar. These are wafers with coconut cream filling. Oh also ooh, probably ooh. delicious. Next we have Oh, actually these sound no, where are they? I feel like I've had some of these before. We might have in other South America boxes. These are Tochineta Limon. These are bacon and lime flavored chips. And I am almost positive I've had these before. If you have, I haven't. I'm not complaining because they look delicious and I'm going to put them in the trial. Next up we have... Where are they? In here somewhere. I thought it was in here somewhere. Hmm. Ah, here it is. Okay. I was about to, like, get kind of nervous that yeah. we were missing something after something was already open. Yep. So next is the uh, Galitas Maduritas, and these are plantain cookies. Interesting. Followed by... Okay, this is going to be interesting. I might put these in the trial. These are Tosti Arepa. These are Arepa-inspired corn tortilla chips with cheese and butter flavor. I love Arepas. So put those in the trial. I'm going to put these in the trial. We may, we may swap some things out of the trial. No, let's just do four things. That's fine. Okay. Next up, we have uh, La Nina Papitas Limon. These are lime potato chips. And we actually recently tried lime potato chips in those um, the Lay's flavors, uh, like the music-flavored ones flavored but those were the electric lime and sea salt interesting oh we've got more trululu stuff these oh these are trululu gomitas fresitas these are strawberries and cream gummies i love strawberries and cream Ooh. those sound awesome next up we've got oh 
the risottas picanitas. These are spicy potato chips. I will skip those. Oh, actually, you might not. Oh, it's got habanero. Never mind. Next, we More have. Like no, nope, not these. Sorry, I can. These guys. Yeah, we've got the little the bat, the open Tulalu things are all over the bottom of the box. Oh, uh, well, at least next we have them. Up, we've got uh, Piazza Barquillos con crema de chocolate, and these are wafer rolls with a chocolate cream filling. I'm surprised we're still getting chocolate. It's June, and it's yeah. pretty hot. It's getting warm, and I know that Universal Yums shares our homeland of New Jersey. They ship from a little bit further north, which is why if you guys saw their April Fool's gag with the New Jersey box, I was all on board with that. Made my day. Yeah, I wish they would have done that for real. Tasty cakes and pork roll for everybody. <sighs> Next up, we've got some more Madaritos. These are sweet plantain chips. Ooh, those are gonna be tasty too. I'm really excited for all of the things I've pulled from the box so far. Next, we've got uh, Bridge Arequipe wafers. These are caramel filled wafers. Oh, they're dulce, le dulce de leche flavored. Ooh. God, I really want them to give me an Argentina box someday. Didn't they? No, we got that in the, the holiday box. Oh, and you cried because you got I did cry. I did cry. And very kindly, of, I had several people offer to send me some, but I don't have a P.O. box yet. I may make one. I may get one. Next up, we have... These are Caramello Snacky. These are caramel flavored snack puffs. Puffs of what? Puffs of corn. Okay. Uh, next we've got Oka Loca. Oka Loca Ovnis Frutos Rojos. Red fruit flavored chewy candy. I love and the flavor of red. Yeah, I do not love the flavor of red. What That's does fine. it say what the red is? Uh, it says uh, raspberry, strawberry, blackberry, and cherry. Oh, okay. It's multiple red. Next, this is this is an interesting and unique kind of thing. This is um, Caja de Dulce Sortitos, assorted Colombian sweets. And there are a couple of different types of caramel. Okay, uh, this month we brought you something better than one yum, six of them. Inside the specialty box, you'll find an assortment of traditional Colombian sweets, each, each with its own unique flavor and story. So there is milk caramel, coffee, guava, panela, um, which is a solid block of unrefined cane sugar, orange and coconut flavored little sweets. Mm -hmm. This is really neat. Is there still a yum bag in there? And we do still have a yum bag. I'm a little surprised. And in the yum one. bag, uh, we have, there, there are, okay, so basically there's a passion fruit bon bon bum, which is basically a blow pop. It's a passion fruit flavored lollipop with gum in the center. There is Super Coco Tirodito, which is a chewy coconut candy, and Cafe Gourmet, which is a uh, co chocolate, or sorry, a coffee flavored chew. So, that being said, guys, uh, we've got three things in the trial right now. We may pull a fourth, I'm not sure. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, everyone, we're back, and we have three things in the trial. So, we're gonna start with the Totsuneta bacon chips. And I could swear that I have had these before. I don't know where. Um, they actually, they kind of remind me of those ones from the Russia box. I doubt the Russia ones would have lime on them, though. No, they didn't have lime on them, but they were very good. They were probably the most accurate uh, bacon-flavored thing I've ever tasted. And they were very tasty in combination with the mushroom chips. Go figure. Uh, whoa! They're hot, aren't they? They're not hot. They are sour. Well, that's lime, baby. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. You aren't gonna like these. I'm not Give even. Give me gonna... one. I want to not like something. Mm. Or maybe I will. I mean. Oh, are they kind of like a pork rind? Texturally, yeah. What box did we get those vegetarian pork rinds in? That was the Philippine box, I think. Those like super spicy pork rinds. Those were, or the fake pork rinds. Those were really good. I like oh, those Oh, these are nice. Those are delicious. Once you get past the initial tartness of the lime, ooh, I really like that. I was not expecting that, but it is, it had, the, the lime has an edge to it. 
and the chip is very crunchy, very light. Uh, I don't get a lot of bacon flavor. I don't really detect a bacon flavor. But there is some. It's very, very subtle. Uh, but next, we're going to jump to these Trululu Kais, because I think they are super cute. Um, they look kind of like jelly beans, and they also kind of look like M&Ms. So oh, okay. I'm going to put those over there for you, okay? Um, now, we are eating the ones that were rolling around the bottom of the box. Ooh. Oh, these are nice! Because we're not punks. Mmm. Oh, these look very much like Easter basket candy. These are very cute. These are very sweet. Uh, it is white chocolate, and I love white chocolate, so that's good. And then the, the gummy on the inside is, I think it's like a, like a cherry or a strawberry, maybe? Oh, they're all different, because I just got like an orange one. Oh, yeah, they are. These are mostly used for quinceaneras. Oh. Instead of Jordan almonds, which are disgusting. Yeah, no, this is this is no, this is great. Apparently, they're because they're such. They're, we commented on the colors how they look kind of like Easter candy. They're to match the these typically very bright pastel dresses of a Colombian quinceanera. That's they're really, really cool. Those are super tasty. I like these a lot. I'm very happy with these. But next, I next, would I would buy these. These are really good. Yeah. Next, we are going to try these arepa crisps. And Sweet okay. cheese and butter flavored, right? So I have had, a, think of it this way. An arepa is basically a Colombian grilled cheese sandwich. Oh. So arepas have, it's like a, usually like a cornbread kind of dough. And then they usually put like cheese on the inside and then it's fried, like pan fried or griddled. Um, okay, yeah, like a grilled cheese sandwich. I have had them at food truck festivals. Locally, we have a truck called Mozarepas, and oh. they're delicious. So I am I am curious how that is going to translate in chip form. Or, yep, okay, these are tortilla chips, which makes sense because of the corn for the outside of the arepa. Um, they don't really smell like anything other than corn. Oh, do you taste the queso? I the taste the butter. Mantequilla. I taste the I mantequilla. I was wondering why I remembered that word, and it was yep. not Gullah Gullah Island. Nope. Um, so these are really nice. They're very subtle. I don't get a super strong cheese flavor, but it is queso fresco, and queso fresco is a very light, airy. I don't want to say flavorless because it does have flavor to it, but it is a very subtly flavored cheese. And this is a really good representation of what an arepa tastes like. Mmm. Mm. Well, anyway, y'all, that is this month's Universal Yums Crate. Um, if you are interested in trying Universal Yums for yourself, I do have an affiliate link in the description, I think it's called. Uh, basically, if you click the link and you sign up, we both get a certain percentage off of our next order. So, check it out if you're interested. I have loved every box they've sent. They send incredible varieties from very unique countries. Like it's not all the same countries over and over again. And I really appreciate that. We got the medium box before they introduced the, uh, the super yum box. And I'm glad to have upgraded. So if you're interested in that, take a look. Um, I give it the two thumbs up, Elise seal of approval. But anyway, that is going to do it for today's video. Uh, question of the day. Tell me what you would like to try from this box. Because or, I can't wait to try all of them. If you have another Colombian snack that you wish they'd included. Yes, absolutely. Let, let me know, know in the comments down below. My social media links are in the description below. If you'd like to see more from this channel, hit that little subscribe button. Click the little bell. Because if you want to stay in the know, the bell's the way to go. Likes and comments, let me know to keep doing what I'm doing. And I will see you in the next video. Later.